these these horrific creatures. Um, our, our medieval forefathers called them basilisks. Um, and and the, by the way, they play a big part in medieval uh, theology and terminology, some of which is very unbiblical based and fanciful. But if you're ever in Europe and you're in some old castle and you see a rooster, uh, that was what they used as a symbol of good and health and, and biblical life. And the basilisk was a symbol of everything evil. And, and so you'll, you'll see those. Just look for them. It's fascinating. Now, the reason I bring that up is the basilisk. One thing our medieval forefathers understood nicely was that this is not a real creature. Uh, it is. It exists at this time. But it's, it's a spiritual creature. This is a demonic thing. Because of that, the seal they're looking for may not be physical. These are demonic spiritual beings that certainly have physical, horrible physical expression, as you see in your text. Um, so that seal may not be physical in nature. It may be like the way seal is used throughout most of the New Testament, which is a spiritual invisible thing. It, it is something that the Holy Spirit who seals us for the day of redemption, that's not anything anybody can see, um, that that is something he does that is not visible, but it's very real. So, so you might look for this as a more spiritual issue.